Well, ladies and gentlemen, you might want to clench your butt cheeks. And to understand this situation, I'm going to put it simply. We as gamers, we have been through a lot. We lived through the unfinished games. Are, in fact, we are still going through that. So, uh, microtransactions, no campaigns, remasters, all breaks, no gas. That's the motto of video games. But today, ladies and gentlemen, we are hearing about a brand new... Call of Duty game, brand new Battlefield game, Bruh. and in fact, we even had the GTA 6 tag demo. I will link you that brand new Call of Duty video and GTA 6 at the end, so stick around for that. But today, we are hearing about a brand new Battlefield game. EA is working on next Battlefield game, single player campaign, returning, oh no! And that's what's happening, we have EA coming out today and they're revealing more information because three weeks ago, EA did say that they are canceling the support. In fact, they're, they canceled the entire Apex Legends mobile. They did Bruh. do that. They also annihilated their project that they have been working on. They, and they constantly have been talking about the fact that we're going to be getting better for mobile, how they're going to be making their monies. They have been buttering their investors up till the last three weeks. They came forward and they said that we're basically canceling the project. And to me, that's a W. And to a lot of people, that's a W as well. A lot of people are really happy that finally they're focusing on the actual game that matters. And that is very bizarre and very... I was not expecting that a lot of people were very much shocked by the fact that they are just putting all their support and all their eggs in the next Battlefield game, which is really good. But a lot of people are kind of sad by the fact that why Apex Legends has to bite the bullet. It did bite the bullet. But however, this is what we heard last year. I'll get down to what they said today. But Tom Henderson did say last year, the same guy, right, that did say that Battlefield, he had all the leaks correct, okay? So I got none against him. He's a homie. I love the homie. But one of the things he said, and it's not his fault, but I know people joke about it, that Battlefield, Battlefield 3 and Battlefield 4, uh, Battlefield 2042 will be Battlefield 3 and 4 on steroids. He did say that. Bruh. We all know how that turned out. But right now, a lot of people are saying Battlefield 2042 is good. You let me know if that's true or not. I have still not played. The next Battlefield title could be in 2024. Sourcesh have hinted, and he did say that last year. Now, to understand, ladies and gentlemen, Bruh. the 3,000 Call of Duty devs are putting all their heat in the pack. You can see they got them Bugs Bunny ear. They got a lot of that uh, content, uh, friendly UAV online. So they really be putting all of their UAV support in that content. And my point here is that Battlefield has a chance. They, they had a massive chance with when Van Garbage came out with Call of Duty. A lot of people were trying to find a brand new game to migrate to. A lot of uh, Call of Duty, Im uh, a lot of uh, Call of Duty uh, players wanted to immigrate to Battlefield, but Battlefield fell flat on their face, and they lost a massive opportunity. This time, when you see Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 having content like that, I mean, it's over, guys. You know, it's over. Is it time to let it go, bruh? I don't know about this one, Buckos, but check this out. EA DICE is expanding. Hopefully not expanding their butthole, let's be real. EA DICE is expanding to assist with their with single player games. Oh no! The new team will support Seattle-based Richline games in creating Battlefield's next campaign. Now, to understand this situation, I personally really do not care for a campaign in Battlefield game. I am perfectly fine if they Bruh. drop it though. If they come out with it, I mean, campaigns are a soul of the game. If they have the soul straight, then obviously the game will be actually better because Battlefield 3 had the campaign, albeit wasn't the best, but it was pretty good. Battlefield 4 campaign, I replayed it before 2042 came out and it was uh, kind of good. And a lot of people wanted the campaign in Battlefield 2042, rightfully so. So what if I didn't want it? So what if I didn't care? All I'm saying here is that Battlefield is one of those games that I buy for multiplayer only and a lot of people do the same way, but it doesn't mean that they they can cut out content and call it a day. They came out, Battlefield 2042 came out with what, like seven maps at launch, albeit that those seven maps were way bigger than Call of Duty, but those maps were soulless. So this time they're saying that they're gonna have a campaign which is actually really good. But however, they came out with this, our decision to build on our single player team here at Dash is a proactive approach that arms our global teams with the resources they need to uh, need early on as we look ahead to the next Battlefield experience. Guys, it is very much looking like that this game is going to be coming out in 2024, 20, uh, next year, by the end of next year. And we're likely going to hear a lot more by the end of this year and early next year. And it's going to be one of those days where we're going to be dropping like, hey man, they drop a new league. They got a tease video, right? Just like how we had those leaks back in 2021. We're in 2023. 
crazy, right? Like, I just cannot even compute that. We're already talking about the next Battlefield game. Marcus Leto said that our vision, coupled with their experience with the franchise, is going to see us build a single-player campaign that will engage players in new ways while also remaining true to the classic elements of what Battlefield truly, uh, what makes Battlefield truly unique. I don't know if that is cap. I want to know your, uh, approach to this one click on this video on the screen because the next call of duty black ops ended up getting leaked out we also have the uh, gta 6 tech demo on the left with free games as well check this videos out guys and i will see you right there